Hello everyone. This is Pinati Shet and I'm finally showing you my bullet journal setup for 2021. So, this is a flip through. I put the flip through in the beginning because I really really find this to be a very annoying trend of the YouTube bujo community where the flip through is at the very end and it's like not everyone needs to sit through the whole video maybe some of them are just looking for ideas so i put my flip through in the beginning as well as in the end so as you can see this is my bullet journal for 2021 and uh, it's not as you'd expect pujos to be to be very honest but this is my bujo this is my bullet journal and so it is going to have all the things that i need to make my life simpler to make it uh, easier to catalog it for me that is one thing that you will see as a common theme in all my bullet journals so there you go before i actually start right working on my bullet journal i plan it in my notes app and uh, i just shared my planning process with you so i don't really do these calendars and digital trackers and all of that in my bullet journals like even the content strategy that i plan primarily because i have all of that put into my laptop and my mobile and my ipad so i don't really see any point to kind of reiterating and repeating and redrawing and honestly wasting pages about uh, things that you can obviously have access to without looking at your bullet journal so i always have my phone on me like most uh, 27 28 year olds these days and uh, i don't really see a point to re repeating as i mentioned uh, while ironically repeating my point the same thing over and over again so that is why a lot of things are uh, different uh, in terms of what we conventionally see with bullet journals and what i use so i don't really use a legend and a key as well because i know where the things are this bullet journal is made for me it's not made for someone else so i don't really need to waste the page putting down keys or putting down legends or putting down things that essentially i don't need so the supplies start now i don't really use any expensive supplies the most expensive stationery i own is the pigma microns and i have uh, the six pen set one brush set the 8 5 3 one and point five nib those are chalk colors that's a tissue paper scissors at all so all common stationery that you probably have at home uh, again this is supposed to be accessible right it is not supposed to be something that you splurge on uh, i would really really love to make art journals but honestly i don't have the time and i don't have the patience and i don't have the budget to support that extremely expensive hobby so this is at this point in time at least this is what i'm doing i'm doing bullet journal bullet journaling using uh, supplies that are available at my disposal and that won't really put a massive massive hole in my savings So now what you see me do is you are currently seeing me make a coat uh, in the planning stage uh, you probably saw me put up coat not decided yet and I looked through some quotations but then uh, I thought why not create something on my own and this is what I came up with you have the power you have all the power right I mean I know that we feel very powerless these days given everything that has been going on but we are not really powerless we just feel powerless right so we need to stop we need to stop second guessing ourselves we need to stop projecting our fears and our insecurities and all of that we just need to reclaim some confidence some faith in ourselves you know like we are always there for our friends 
I think sometimes we have to start showing up for ourselves as well. So this is what I selected as my quote. You have the power. Stop making excuses. This is the journal of Minati the Scribe Shade. And uh, there's this really cute moon doodle that uh, uh, I, I, I was gazing out of the window and it was a crescent moon. And there is this flower. I don't really know the English uh, translation for the same. But in Gujarati, we call it Madhumalti. It's got tiny little red flowers. It grows in a gigantic bunch. And I have this entire creeper uh, all over my wall and window. So I was looking at the moon. And uh, this, is, this is where that doodle came from. Anyway... I'm moving on to uh, writing the year, which is 2021. I mean, a lot of us, a lot of us are tired of 2020, right? So there was some sort of a very weird therapeutic feeling to writing 2021. I mean, I know I'm being weird when I say that, but that was what I felt. If you look at my Instagram, uh, I have this habit of making doodles. So this page that I just stuck, that is actually a doodle I made using a waterproof black gel pen. Uh, the brand I use is called Octane. And I just stuck it because it was so pretty and the paper was skinny. Now what you see me do is uh, kind of take a cutter to the chalk colors. And I'm just leaving a smattering of uh, colors that I don't generally use. But I think change is one thing that I would really like to bring to my life. And I think I should start that with the journal. So I don't personally like using colors. I'm very monochromatic. I like black. I like gray. I like white. A little bit of blue. A little bit of uh, uh, shade green or uh, wintry green you know that's it that's my range of colors never reds never purples never something bright so this is one change i'm planning planning to incorporate in my life in 2021 which is to kind of breathe more color into everything i do be it uh, design be it i don't know be it anything and everything because I won't really know what I like unless I try right so that is it that is what I'm uh, <laughs> going to do what I've not spoken about is the journal I'm using which is a factor notes journal I would not recommend buying this journal because it does not flat lay and the dot grid is slanted okay like it's literally slanted and there's nothing I could do to fix it. I mean, I can buy a new journal, but then that would be, you know, waste of paper. I'll have to use this one anyway. So I figured we'll make do with the slanted dot grid and the flat lay that isn't really flat laying. So yeah, do not buy factor note journals. If you are from India and you look up bullet journal on Amazon.in, that is one of the first things that shows up as a bullet journal and like don't waste your money don't waste your time waiting for it you know i did and i regret it don't be me what you now see me make is a bookshelf so i really really like uh, having elaborate bookshelves but i don't really maintain an elaborate bookshelf in real time because bookshelf maintenance is a real thing I have to like uh, if I do have a bookshelf like in like a nice elaborate looking rich uh, exclusive bookshelf I'll have to maintain it right I'll have to clean everything dust it because I live in a climate uh, which allows for silverfish and termites to breed no matter how much uh, bug treatment I get done somehow termites and silverfish keep happening so books on a wooden bookshelf is something that uh, 
I don't think I can own at this point in time given the maintenance requirements. So instead I made me a bookshelf in a, in my bullet journal. Uh, it's it's about being happy with the choices we make, right? If it makes us happy, that's all that matters, not uh, what is and what it can be and all of that. So I have uh, drawn these little potted plants and I do have a lot of potted plants in my house and in my garden. So I could use those, but then again, when you try to water a potted plant, it it can leak and it can also like contribute to the termites and uh, other sorts of bugs, aphids and what not. So can't have it in real life at this point in time so we're gonna make it in real life if that makes sense so every book that i read it will get drawn into my bookshelf so uh, in the later images i think you'll be able to see i have written the two books that i plan to start 2021 with which is uh, factfulness and uh, sapiens the graphic novel so i wrote those down because i already bought those books and th- those will be the first books for 2021 because uh, i wanted to start the year on something positive and dr hans rosling always had a world can be better message you know even before steven pinker got on the train of the world is better than you think it is so yeah that is one book i wanted to like start 2021 on a positive note right and graphic novels uh, is something i have started consuming for the first time since yeah, last year and after hearing that you all know ahrari sapiens is coming with some extra content in graphic novel form i was i was really excited so i pre-ordered it and it's on its way and uh, that's what i'm going to start my 2021 with also here is where i'll put on a little disclaimer yeah guys this disclaimer is i don't really know anything about photography or videography Uh, i'm really really struggling (laughs) with how to pose my camera and i'm going to continue to struggle with the same for like uh, two three more videos but i think i'll have it handled soon so in 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 the next few minutes you're going to see like an abhorrent camera angle where all of my uh, background uh, clutter will be visible i apologize that you have to see it but uh, i had no idea that my camera had shifted and i was just painting and i was listening to a podcast when i was doing the same so really that was uh, the 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 ship had sailed on that one i couldn't really re-record it because i had already painted the things in but yeah i'll improve on my camera angles and i'll improve on my lighting and all of that uh, as time passes me by Uh, there's a learning curve on literally everything in existence right and uh, filming videos for youtube is i suppose the same so there you go Uh, i'm filling in my potted plants and i'm keeping the plants ready for uh, whenever it is I start sketching the books uh, because fake or real plants just look nice you know Uh, these sketch pens by the way these are those 10 rupee sketch pens you get you get uh, 12 uh, very common primary colors and uh, they aren't really that pleasing to look at but again on paper they look nice so i think ultimately that is what matters you know not how fancy your crayon or your uh, pencil or your marker looks it is what uh, it shows up as on the paper and the bleed isn't that significant as well like the ghosting from the ink it's not that dark so i'm going to continue using this very cheap pens uh, because again no point uh, investing a lot of money uh, into something that uh, wouldn't have much ROI for me right return on investment and I'm really happy with what it looks like so yeah this is where my camera shifted 
so you can actually see my setup so this is my drawing board uh, this is a, a hard board on which i have put a little bit of uh, spray paint black and brown spray paint uh, i have uh, tamped the sides with a with a tape because i didn't really want the edges to rub my hand and hurt me so yeah i apologize that you have to see this i'll try to make sure that my camera doesn't shift next time round this is where we put in notable days and events you know some nice things some bad things some difficult things that happened or some great things that happened to me during 2021 so my book will probably come out in 2021 uh ideally the date was 2022 but because of the whole corona virus thing the publishing deadlines have been pushed back some of them so instead of them being pushed forward they pushed backwards so books are slated to release earlier so i'm hoping one of those uh, dates will make it here similarly any kind of uh, nice ideas and nice concepts and such stuff like that that i have to sit and contemplate uh, in larger details you know those also are something that i like to note in my bullet journal uh, i also wanted to bring a little bit of color here so this is what i've done i've just put in uh, little spots of color and i've also left a page for realistic goals realistic goals uh, as in uh, things that i can most certainly do like uh, improve my camera angle <laughs> you know what i mean now this is uh, the page for putting in uh, things that went my way in my personal and professional life per month i'm using the dry on dry uh, brush technique using watercolors uh, um it's uh, it's dark blue purple and uh, watery blue basically two colors uh, different water concentrations and an extremely dry brush i uh, just go stippling 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 and you'll be good to go one of these pages is for personal uh, activities and the other one is for professional ones so like new clients uh existing prospects who gave me bigger uh, responsibilities etc etc that will all go in the work uh, columns and uh, say for instance uh, finding some home renovation time and uh, workers that would go in the personal column so to speak so that is what i mean when i say putting in significant things that will go my way and that are in my control in these pages this is to you know look at how far you have come that sort of a thing now this is my finances tracker so instead of uh, putting individual uh, totals of each month in that respective month i like an overall round out to see how much i have earned each month and how much i've spent each month so this is why that page exists the little doodles you see on the top again as i mentioned i have a doodling habit and sometimes most of the times actually i'll film my doodles it's simple and they'll be on my instagram now what there is on instagram reels before reels instagram stories so what you see me do is just put a lot of water uh, create like an aurora borealis swirl using whatever colors you want to i'm using the colors i don't use right a uh, bright red purple blue uh, etc etc and the reason why i have created this galaxy kind of a tone is because uh, i really like what the galaxy colors look like and uh, they also have this representation right representation of uh, if you seen kimi no nawa uh, when the comet is coming down and that color scheme that entire thing it's it's i just love it so there you go this is my bullet journal setup quote title page 
bookshelf to put in the books that have been read for the month notable days and events realistic goals for 2021 personal and professional tracker so to speak a page putting in all the finances yearly musings that's my bookmark using an fern and this is my period tracker i'll put all my dates here and uh, i also write letters to myself so that's it 2021 setup done thank you so much do subscribe to my channel